Today, I'll be attempting to beat all of Donkey Kong Country 2, one of the most absurdly hard games from the Super Nintendo, but every death, I'm gonna donate money to one of my favorite charities, Doctors Without Borders. The first death is gonna add five bucks to charity, the second death is 10 more dollars, the third adds 15 more dollars, and so on, meaning that each death could very quickly be adding hundreds or thousands of dollars to the pool. But there's an obvious problem with that. If every time I die, money is going to a great cause, like how can I sit there and try to not die and play the game really well if that means I'm like preventing money from going to charity, right? And so that's why I came up with the perfect solution. All the money goes to charity today in Martin Shkreli's name. All of the money is going to be credited to Martin Shkreli as though he personally donated a couple thousand dollars to Doctors Without Borders. This is the piece of shit who's not only in jail for securities fraud, he like goes to different companies and raises funds, purchases the licenses for drugs, life-saving drugs, and then cranks up the money an insane amount just to manipulate people and get his stock price to go up. He is an absolute fucking scumbag. All the money's gonna be towards a really phenomenal cause, but towards a terrible person. And if you guys donate any money, it will also go into the fund. And this way, throughout the entire stream, everybody loses. Best fucking Donkey Kong Country 2 of my life in three, two, one. And this is the fun part. It's just me just playing a game normally. This first world's a fucking cakewalk, dude. Take that, Doctors Without Borders. I'm keeping it all. You know, this is weird. I'm gonna look like a douchebag if I play really well. Like, imagine I die, like, three total times. You guys would probably go on Twitter and be like, Doug's kind of a dick. Like, he he donated, like, $14 to Doctors Without Borders. Like, there's a war going on, and that's all he gave up. Like, I, I can't play the best Donkey Kong in my life right now. Okay. Still no money. Take that, Doctors. I'm fine dying in later levels for a good cause, but not World 1. Let's get those poor Doctors some borders. <laughs> that's- that's not- we're not funding a border. You're misunderstanding the situation. I know it gets way harder, but it's like not even remotely difficult right now. First boss is right here. <sighs> that's the first boss with no deaths. I think we're looking at a very clean victory today, but also it gets way fucking harder. This game has so many jams. It is just amazing. And I love the cute crocodiles that are just like happy for you to jump on them. I normally don't donate to charity, but we really need to save Martin Shekel's image, so here you go. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I need this. Okay. For people who haven't played this game, each you get like two Kongs, and each one is a life, basically. Let's get those doctors some borders. Literally the opposite of their goal. Doug loves diseases and borders. <laughs> this is not correct. Oh, I can get the rhino. That'd be sweet. Because, as everybody knows, rhinos can jump on bees. Stop fucking nuts. Dude, again, first two worlds, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna kick some ass. Doug, this is your accountant, Porkza. Don't forget to write off this donation as a tax write-off to get 110% of the money back. <laughs> That's not how it works. That would mean I'm taking it from the Doctors Without Borders. All right, final boss of world two. This is a classic volcano sword. Yeah, I think now he does a choppy chop thing. What do I do? What do I do? Wait, what the fuck do you do? There's nowhere to go! Uh-oh. Uh, is that it? Jesus Christ. This should be it. No? Oh, it's not. Oh my god. Give me a cannonball, cannonball, cannonball. Ladies and gentlemen, that is two worlds done. Zero deaths and zero dollars for charity. Let's fucking go, dude. All right, World 3 is where it should actually pick up. It's also where I haven't played the levels like a dozen times when I was a kid. That hits? That's stupid. I was, I was safely in a barrel. Why would a ghost hit me? This is not realistic. Dude, I'm too good. I'm honestly too good of a person for charity. Why are we donating to a good cause with the name of a not good person? Did he get divorced so he is a good person now? <laughs> he's working on it. I'm pretty sure he's engaged. Oh my fucking god, what do you- Why would they put two fish in one little spot? That's stupid. Okay, so it took two and a half worlds to kill me one time. That means I'm gonna die like three times total in this game. Congratulations, doctors. It's over like $600 right now for viewers. And I've done my part. Five bucks. Guys, I'm not a bad person. I'm just- I'm really good at Donkey Kong Country, okay? Okay, this- this is where I got F'd last time. What are- what do I do? I go in this crack. I go in the fish crack. Uh oh And now, slip out the crack from the back. I think that's the end of the level. Alright, not bad. 
Will you be my divorce lawyer? Uh, I'm not a barred attorney. You gotta talk to Parker about that. No! What? What the fuck? Why would they wait until I jump? That's stupid. Is what I would say if I hadn't done that intentionally to support the doctors. It's a great cause. Can we donate okay. to doctors without medical degrees too? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I should give money to unlicensed people to give out drugs. That's what Martin Screlly does. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. Look at the way he's looking at me. He knew I was going to do it. I thought they were cute earlier. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, all right. That is the only death that will happen for the rest of this world. I promise. See, these are the levels I can do. Bouncing on a bumblebee on a snake. I can do this. This is easy. When it's like an alligator head that pops in and out of a swamp. I can't do that. You give me something simple that I understand. Snakes on bees. DD Kong is to Donkey Kong what little Bow Wow is to Snoop Dogg. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. Let me know how many worlds there are. Seven worlds. Okay. As long as they maintain this level of difficulty, we're fine. What do I do here? How do I do this? That's how I do it. Honestly, borders aren't even that cool. It's just a regular bookstore, but they went out of business years ago. What's the big deal? The charity is not doctors who refuse to go read books at borders. It's doctors who go help humanitarian crises. Can we donate to doctors without border collies also? No. Hi, Doug. I love what you're doing. I will do my part too by caging a free range doctor on each deck. No. Nope. Let's get those doctors <laughs> a border. Again, a lot of you seem to misunderstand what's happening here. Hi, Doug. Would you consider donating to doctors without boundaries? They struggle with personal space, but the meanwhile. <laughs> That's just... These doctors are fine. We don't need to find a different group of doctors. I support ethically sourced free range doctors only. We're also not going to consume them. Aha. I kept a free range doctor once. Honestly, they're a lot easier to raise within the borders. The <laughs> eggs taste the same TBH. <laughs> oh my god, I'm nuts. This one's for you, doctors who play primarily in false cream. Oh, you guys have donated $860, $70. Dropping the doctors build borders. Immigration has really <laughs> escalated lately. This is literally the antithesis of their mission statement. Okay, world three. I really want to get through this. No deaths. Let's go. Okay, let's go, you fucking crocodile. I think I right, speak right, for go. everybody when I say that doctors have been on the loose much God too long. Thanks for putting them in their place, Martin. No! This is stupid! How are you supposed to know when he's falling? Can we support doctors without orders? This is a charity meant to help doctors who get denied service at fast food <laughs> restaurants. There are so many good causes to support. Let's go. God. No! That's so fast! Dude! Okay. Alright, now it's really fast. Now it's really fast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we donate to doctors without mortars? I hear they're the bomb. <laughs> let's go! Is that death? One more, one more, one more. Let's go. Fuck yeah! Let's go, dude! Fuck that crocodile! Seven deaths in three worlds is not terrible. It's just not good I'm at all. I'm always a fan of doctors <laughs> without is... Barnes and Noble, but I guess this is fine too. Oh my god. My neighbor, Mrs. Border, is a doctor. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> Very cool. So excited to be donating to Doctors with Divorces, the organization that helps doctors with getting their divorces so they can get married again to get divorced again. <laughs> That's just not really the point. Why did that- why did that kill me? It does not make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. One does not simply doctor without border. Okay. Hey, Doug, I think it's amazing that you're supporting doctors without daughters. There's way too many sons. I'm imagining all you guys coming in here either illiterate or having like a, a hearing impediment. You don't quite follow what's going on. Let's go doctors without more door. <laughs> but you're still supportive of the cause anyways. You're like, sure, yeah, let's give them daughters. This fucking bumblebee, why is it here? Why is it out of screen? It's out of frame. What about doctors without sorters? They're really unorganized and badly need some money to misplace someone. <laughs> that, <sighs> we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Still playing the best Donkey Kong Country 2 of my life, probably. And besides, I'm still warming up. Thank you for supporting doctors that can't travel to Bordeaux. Everybody needs a vacation once in a while. Okay. You gotta hit the green barrel. Got it. What about dog tours without borders? How will the dogs know where they can and can't go? <laughs> that doesn't- that's not a charity. <laughs> what does a dog tour mean? Is it- is it dogs giving a tour or is it for dogs? Which catering company will you be hiring to deliver food to all of these doctors without hors d'oeuvres? 
<laughs> so they don't need hors d'oeuvres. I'm gonna give them the main course in a second. Oh, this is a bird level. The bird levels are awkward. Okay, I know there's a secret down I there. I figured out how the doctors can use mortars. They can load medicine and the doctors in the mortar, then they fire them over the borders and whatever supplies and doctors make it help out over the borders. They are not firing mortars across the borders of countries who are giving dog tours. They're normal doctors who use medicine. You motherfucker. Okay, there's a- okay, okay. We're, we're, no! The stupid bumblebee! That was fine. I've died, what, like, twice in this world? prescribing Viagra for themselves? Might help with the boner problem. <laughs> Doctors without boners. Oh, I love this level. But oh, you have to kill ten people. All right, let's go, asshole. Oh, motherfucker. All right, seven left. Oh, I fucking sniped him. That was ridiculous. <laughs> A doctor once put his finger up my lump. Are these the same oh! doctors we're supporting by watching this stream? Answer carefully. That guy didn't have a medical license, and I get I'm five legit bananas. Confused what I can Let's go. Outside. I have agoraphobia. I'm stuck in a bubble with blackout lights and a door with no doorknob, and I have my own toilet and food is brought to me. I haven't left the house in six years. This sounds terrifying. You should go get help. <laughs> I don't remember what these porcupines do, or whatever. Is this a hedgehog? What are these blue guys? It's like alcoholic Sonic. I'm extremely happy to be supporting Doctors Without Borders. We need more falsified documents without fancy edges. Gosh, okay. Ooh, let's go, dude. In the spirit of the stream, let's Park, all sir. go around and say our favorite border. Mine is the border between Mississippi and Louisiana. <laughs> it's not. The word borders is such a minor part of this charity, and you guys are just happy going to be in. Helping doctors who are shorter. Oh. Will you be watching Sonic 2? No, I haven't seen the first one. I'm sorry to, to be the one to tell you this, but Sonic sucks. Here's the thing, I don't like the character Sonic because they turned him into like, Disney character cool guy. Like it's just, he's so obnoxious of a character that I don't understand why anybody is like excited to see more of it. Like Mario just makes funny squeaky noises. There's no like character. Sonic is meant to be like a corporate 90s cool kid. And as you can see from this game, he became an alcoholic. I'm sorry if I miss any, oh my God, what? If I miss any big donations. I'm just playing the best Donkey Kong Country of my life. Jesus Christ. What? I'm ready. Went the wrong way. Okay. Watch out for the giant bee. Thank you. God, dude, get over the bee! Why? Okay, 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 we're good. Beat giant bee. I think I'm now at the boss who is a gigantic bee. I feel like this was what? Five, six deaths on this world? Not too bad. Okay, let's go. We have to shoot him like in his dick. Only the bee dick is vulnerable. Doctors without orders seems inefficient. Okay. They are well equipped, but they severely lack leadership. What the fuck? All right, so I got to scoop from behind him. All right, now he's going to do his poofy thing. You should make your own non-profit called Streamers Without Mods for small streamers who can't afford hors d'oeuvres across borders. <laughs> that doesn't, okay. I just don't feel like that requires quite as much attention as other things. Hi Doug, it's me Sonic, resident cool guy. I heard you were bad talking me and how cool and fast am. Mario wishes he was as cool as me. That's why I beat him in the Olympics every time. Sonic, I didn't mean it. I was talking about the fast food Watch restaurant. Watch the giant bee. <laughs> Thank you. And cut. Mr. Vuck, tear down these borders. Fuck this border bee. That's it, right? That's it? Let's go. Oh, I am terrified of bees. Fuck them borders. With each world I beat, I destroy a border and move on to the next country. I don't understand what all this border stuff is about. Park, sir, come on, man. You have to hit the bussy dug. Is that relevant or? Okay, halfway. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, I'm crushing this one. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Some British dickhead designed this 30 years ago just to cost me $75. For the love of doctors, those are wasps, not bees. <laughs> <laughs> you had to hit the bee in the bussy. No, there it's a wasp. It's a wussy, apparently. Hey, that gets me, Sonic. Why do you bad talk all the effort I went through to be a cool guy? Because you're clearly written by a bunch of marketing people at a big media company who are asking what, what do the kids think is cool nowadays? Why are we giving the borders money? What is this some kind of charity? Jesus Christ. What the doctors do with the money is they go up to a border and they just kind of 
jam all the money into the wall, like just into the cracks. And that way somebody like walks along, they're just visiting like, whoa, I found a million dollars in the border wall. <laughs> in the Bordasi. <laughs> it's just... It if there's a hole in a wall, it's just called a hole. It's not called a, a wall pussy. <laughs> like This level reminds me of how my wife used to make me honey before she divorced me. She made you honey? <laughs> you married to a bee? No. Okay. Uh, this is not looking good, but at least it's looking bad. Oh, I was so close, dude. I can jump on bees. Cannot jump on bees. Well, sometimes in video games, you just gotta spend $80 to learn how the mechanics work. Hey, Doug, important question on behalf of everyone here. Yeah. Can these doctors help all of us with the borders we put in place after our divorce? <laughs> yeah. Maybe? Three, two, we're fine, right? And immediately into a red because that I couldn't dodge. What's a measly $80? Oh my fucking god. Come on, man. I'm at the door. Let me in. Let me in. This is going up pretty goddamn quick now. Like, we're almost $100 a death. <laughs> this is... And I'm halfway through the game. Okay. Now it's gonna, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna force me into the red. And I've, I'm fucked. If you die there, you're just fucked. <sighs> Let's go, dude. That was sick. All right, salvaged. Absolutely salvaged. Let's go. It's me, Sonic, again. I'm now homeless and lost my job from your last comment. Now all I can do to survive is eat the thrown out chili dogs from the dumpster and sleep in a box. <laughs> Sonic, I don't mean to be a dick, but kind of deserved. Doctors Without Borders sounds really scary, to be honest. Like, what if they just come into my house to give me drugs at night? <laughs> the idea is not that they don't have to obey laws. These aren't like renegade doctors who sneak into your house and administer drugs. It's generally to people who want the drugs. I think that supporting doctors with disorders is great. Everyone deserves a second chance at being a doctor. So not everybody deserves a second chance of being a doctor, to be clear. A lot of you seem to think this charity is like some sort of gang of criminals that were, you're reluctantly like, well, I don't normally like crime, but if Doug's into it, then sure. Let's go, dude. That was good. That was good shit. All right. I don't, I have no idea who this boss is. Well, let me rephrase that. I know who it is. It's the crow from, from world one. I don't remember what he does though. Crow, but harder. I will stay under 20 deaths. Uh-oh. Ghost bird. What do I do? What? What? What the fuck? Okay, honestly, wh what do I do here? Jump on the visible crow. I've defeated a bee. I can take you. What? What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Ah! Ah! Fuck this stupid bird! This sucks! Do I just keep moving? I just keep moving when I'm... Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Let's okay, jump on birds. Right. What's a border? Also, what's a doctor? Seriously, help. I have no idea what's happening. You've got to have some base of knowledge. And won't give me my turn on the Nintendo. Jesus Christ! What? What? What the fuck is this boss? Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Hello? Ah, he's so fast! He died. He died. Do I win? Please tell me I win. This boss has cost me like $600. So I need to keep Diddy alive for the end. Because then Diddy can just sit there holding it and the bird will run in. Jesus Christ. It was in the middle. I couldn't do a thing. Okay, I've got Diddy. I just need to not fuck up. Best donkey country of my life. Let's go. Now I sit here and I wait. Bring it. Let's go. That's it, right? You're not gonna like, knock me off from the end? Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go! Oh god, okay, ice physics. I'm good at ice physics, probably. You can tell the developers, like, alright, this is a level where we're just throw bees at them. Like, oh, are they able to see the bees in time to react? No. No, no, no. We'll just fill it with bees. You missed the checkpoint? I don't need it. Jesus fucking Christ. Where's the checkpoint? Like, down here? I swear, I'm gonna die to a bee. Oh my god! What the fuck? Why is the bird- What is with this game's obsession with bees? I don't know, man. It's getting a little weird, right? I'm not the only one. When does this end? This is absurd. Oh my god! Please don't respawn. Oh, he respawned. Cool. Oh. I did it. Okay, that's the end of that world. It's the very last one now. And there's only two levels in it. Why is there, like, a turkey? 
What? What is happening? What do I do? I'm racing it? I shoot it? Can I touch it? Dude, they're gonna throw a B at me. Uh, the, I just... Are you fucking... No. I don't care. I'm taking the hit. What are you supposed to do? He, he flies through the bees! What are you supposed to do here? He's cheating. Very cool. Very cool. This is a fucking mess. Assuming you have to pay $200 a death. Wouldn't be that bad otherwise. This is fucking insane. How is he this... Are you supposed to be able to beat this game? What? Has any child beaten this game ever? Are you kidding? What the fuck is this game? There's no way this is real. This is a real game? Oh my god. Oh my god. I am the greatest fucking Donkey Kong player of all time. Let's go. I beat a stupid bird in a race. K. Rule Duel. This is the last level. I'm there. I'm at the end of the game. I could actually keep this under $5,000 in Martin Scully's name. I've died 42 times. And only 42 times. Here we go. Started at the bottom. Now we are here. Over $4,000 poorer. I know I have to throw the cannon into his cannon hole. Oh shit, what the fuck? Dude, what? What the fuck? It's fine, I don't need health. I win! No, I don't. But I get a DK barrel. I can still one-shot it. Careful, Doug. KK rules balls are notoriously Dudley. Jesus Christ. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it looks expensive. You gotta spend money to make money. What the? Okay. Oh, that's really fast. Okay, I'm on a phase three. I assume there's three phases. Is this gonna kill him? Imagine, though, if I had thrown the ball in the cannon and beat him first try. All right, that's fine, though. Good first try. I can keep it below five grand. All right, get in there. Come on, man. Okay, I'm really gonna chuck it in there. Go. Yes. Okay. Last phase, probably. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Why is he a ghost? What? Is that it? That might be it. Right? That's been, that's three phases. He's not, he does not look dead. Okay. Oh, my controls are reversed. Oh, that's fine. The ghost phase is the, the really scary one. These are all fine. The ghost phase, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. Phase three, let's go. I just have to dodge perfectly. When does he turn invisible? I look out for that, for that. What? So it's like the front of the... I, what the fuck do you do? Okay, we've broken $5,000 from me. Plus like 2,500. This is gonna be a fat donation from Martin fucking Screlly. I definitely did not beat this game as a child. I don't remember any of this. Hey Doug, yes, before you ask, I am allergic to some kinds of pollen. I really like your streams. <laughs> Wait, why did he preface it with that? What do I, what the fuck do you do against a boss who's invisible? That's it. No, I fucking died. He's literally dead. <laughs> and that's why I never believe. Extra 100 if I die on this one. I am that confident. It ends now. Phase one is fucking clean. I just need to live through the goddamn ghosts. I fly over. Easy. Don't care. He's super slow. That's fine. Fuck! I almost fucked it up. All right, one of three. This has to fucking be it. All right, instead of dodging like I've been doing, I go like this. Yes! Okay. Is the? F Are you kidding me? What? What the fuck? I pressed the opposite direction. What is the fucking camera doing? I can't see what the fuck! He just appears in front of you! What? Why did it go upwards? What the fuck? This fucking game. Why does this boss suck my asshole? I may have died exactly 50 times, but not one more, Martin. Not one fucking more. No, I thought I could get the third. I'm just gonna run over here. Maybe wait it out. Maybe. Nope, he spawns right on top of you. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just hang in the middle, right here. Last hit. 
Why is the fucking thing despawning? No. No, dude. Please. 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 Let it end. That's it, right? That has to be it. That has to be it. That's fucking it. Let's go, dude. I am a fucking legend. Before that is the fucking legend. Oh, yes. Yes, it only took 50 deaths. Let's go. That one's for Martin Shkreli. Fuck you, Martin. Let's go. Doctors Without Borders. What's the total? What's the total? So we've got $2,204 from chat. That is absurdly generous. Thank you, everybody. A brisk 6,475 from me, which means in total, we are donating $8,679 to Doctors Without Borders. Fuck yeah, dude. Actually a really, really fat donation. I'm stoked. Their site says they have to process it, then send you a e card. Send me an e card? Hold on, This the e card's actually funnier. Cause like, seeing these really heartfelt images for Martin Shkreli. <laughs> Cause what we really need is something to post on Twitter and for us to all reply to and begrudgingly say, we are happy to donate this in honor of Martin Shkreli. That way we just all look like assholes. <laughs> okay, let me do the donation. E-card message. Martin Shkreli, the eccentric former pharmaceutical executive who caused a public uproar after he drastically raised the price of a life-saving drug was convicted of on three of eight counts of fraud. Can we just do this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess. This is a fucking mess. Look at this e-card. <laughs> Martin Shkreli. He's just honoring himself. Wait, we should add like, and in 2022, I'm back. Because he is. He's being released from prison in November. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm proud. We did a great thing today and a bad thing. But mostly a good thing today. With that, I think I can safely say, we never talk about this again.